Hello there, what I'm going to show you here is um, this incredible ability of the synthesizer here to have the um, samples loaded into it. What I've got here is I'm going to show you how I'm going to go about capturing from a film a sample that I really like and I'm going to use it into the uh, music that I'm going to compose. Microsoft Expression, which is free. Uh, Microsoft Expression Encoder and that can capture the screen and from that screen capture you can take the sound out. I'm interested in the microphone sound of it and let me just go to settings to make sure this is set right. I don't really need to capture the screen so I'm going to set it to just 5 frames. A bit rate and quality, don't really need that camera. The most important thing for this is that I'm capturing speakers. Right, so what I'm actually trying to capture is the actor of this film. What the end result will be to put it in the synthesizer. So I'm going to actually put it into a pattern and make it part of the song. So it'll be like section A, something like that. This is Carlito's Way. Right. It's got a great sample here. So what I'm going to do is just wait till the bit that's actually interesting. And also you can see from this one that the sound is going through and they could catch up like, come on man so I'm going to hit the call to I'm going to stop capturing you it doesn't really matter about the face it's the sound that's going to catch up pretty cool now it's capturing it you can see from the thing what do you say? You and me, it's like old times, man. And you bring in the people you need in, huh? I don't know. I told you that. I ain't connected no more. Well, come on, man. So what we're doing now is just forget about this guy because we're not, we're, not, we're not trying to get into the legal things here. Okay, that's sort of stuff. And this is the one today, December 17th. It's now you center encoder. Next opens up the other part of the Microsoft Expression software. Okay, this is this is like a, an editor window. Play button. That's the capture. So I put that in there. I ain't collecting no more. So there I split. Remove that clip. Yeah. So all I've got is the last 30 seconds. Connected. Oh, come on, man. Sweet. Mm. Audio CB1 stereo. Make that higher quality because you can get 192. So I'm going to just output it to the desktop in this case. And then you just hit encode. And then it'll go through and that's it, it's done. She'll be able to play just that bit outward. Ain't connected no more. Oh, come on, man. Now with this one I can actually open it with WavePad. WavePad will open this video file and take just the sound out. Ain't connected no more. Oh, come on, man. So that's my sound I'm interested in. Trim start and end. Very easy to use the software. Yeah, you can see quite clearly you've got to use that's just the USB slot. I would push that key in there and it would recognize it. So, all I'm going to do first is just format it. Start very easy. Um, I'm obviously going to call it something more meaningful. Oh, come on, man, something like that. Man, quite important. Oh, come on, man, don't wave. Save. Standard window stuff, eject the store and go. So that's plugged in here. Can you get It'll say it's a connecting USB device. So, first of all, we're going to the file thing. Which is already found, it's already discovered that I'm trying to use this, this device. From here, I can also play it just to confirm what I think it is. Ain't connected no more. Oh, come on, man. So, what I need to do is load it. But I don't see it unless I select this type thing here. Or without system. I need to look just for wave files and then it will find it. 
and you see Spire could come up now. So now the, the, the button for load appears. So I can use SF1 to load it. Once I've loaded that, message. So I go, yes, I'm happy to load that. Now loading, completed. Now that's the important thing, the key. This key C3, which actually means this key. You see that? And it matters how hard I press it. So it's already loaded. It's already done all the hard work for me just by doing that. Ain't connected no more. Well, come on, man. So now that I'm done, now I've, I've, I've loaded it up. I exit out of this screen. Now that this is what I was talking about. Like in the door, you've got all these tracks going down the bottom. Yeah. This one, number one, is set to this waveform now. So ain't connected no more. That key goes on there. Now on the play menu, which is like the door standard sort of thing. I'm going to have track 2 as, as another instrument, which I'm going to keep for this for this thing as full grand. I'm not going to do anything fancy with it. Okay, what I'm going to demonstrate is this feature. You're going to capture uh, sample out of a film, and I've done that, and use it as part of a song or pattern. I've got a tempo here of 118.6. I've got 001.01. .01. What should have happened, I want to try and get this section to be four beats, or actually four measures. And I'll play that sample. I want to see what actually how much time elapses by the time we get to four. Ain't connected no more. Oh, come on, man. So you saw that it's roughly two measures went by. Which isn't really, really. So what you do is you go into the inter integrated sampling screen, and that's where you got that confirmation of this sample is on key C three, this key. Ain't connected. Slice. Just slice. The function that you want to use is this one. Basically, it's called slice. But um, SF four. Um, this is the, the this this is the key magic part of it. And this thing on the right hand side of the display lets you mess around with the settings. How many beats this like you try to tell it what, what, what this is. But um I want to tell it that's four meshes. Then it will apply the processing to the sample, just basically go through and try and process it. Now when I press audition and connect them. What it's done is it's made it fit exactly into 118.6. It has obviously split it a bit, but it can't, you know, it's, 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 it doesn't resample the time. So now I press enter. I want to fix that. Enter. So what is happening is I, as I've exited and told it, okay, I'm happy with that, is that, that once I've exited, this, these keys, all these notes will be arranged exactly in that order in that part of the pattern. So, so what I'm going through here and do this. You see that? Four. It's perfect, isn't it? That's that part of the system is to do the slicing. It understands not only how to get that sample in and let you intelligently manipulate it, but then also once you exit it and press return, it will fill that, that, that those individual things to, to 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 that part of the pattern that I'm on. If I now go to edit, you'll see that all the notes have been put in. Note C3, note C sharp, note D. You see all of them are, are put in exactly the right timings. I can even go like down the note down the notes. Measure one. Play. I know it's not brilliant, but it's a start, that's section A. Now I can go section B and start writing my section B. Okay, so I'm going to now start my song, which I will do using, obviously, the song. And what's important to realise it, 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 this is something that is going to go in the same beat that I was actually trying to keep.
I've got my part first, part A, which would. <laughs> So that's my section A. I'm gonna to go to section B and then I'm gonna I'm gonna go for some beats. I'm just gonna have a drum and bass a drum beat in this part. Because this is section B a bit. Because these buttons light up to tell you what you're working on, which is quite useful. You can just about see that these are my section buttons and the ones at the top also give the um it can be can be the further sections a a to b c's etc and then the higher ones on the next row above so i to p this is how you work on the pattern mode so my b is going to be the beats that i want to add to it and some perhaps a bit of better melody my a is that oh come on man so that's how it's going to be that's how i'm building my song a is oh come on man and b is going to be some b of say yeah, these could be large or they could be small this a is a very small one i'm going to have b as my as a 16 as a 16 bit one 16 measure one sorry part what the, the bottom thing tells me what um track i'm on at the moment i'm going to adjust it to be 16 measures and i'm literally just going to create a drum pattern and i'm setting it to auto start and i'll kick it again So to give you the example of how this would work, I just put in, go into my chain mode now. And then I tell the synthesizer how I want these sections to be organized. So I go to begin, it's the same as recording a song, rewind to the beginning, start with section A, hit the record button, and play. And connect them. Oh, I've just gone A and B. A for four measures and B, which just tells you I'm selecting the B. The, the first bit I recorded is four measures of section A and then uh, 32 measures of section B. And the point is that it's the kept the original rhythm though. That, that, that's the important thing in it. But let's make it a bit. Let's make. Let's do that one again properly. Let's let's go for. Uh, um, rewind at the beginning again. And uh, let's start recording again. Um, section A. And then after four beats, I'm going to change to section B. But I'm going to stop at twenty rather than carry on this time. So it's good. It takes into another rather than repeat the same beat. Uh, I'm going to start something new. So, and connect them. Come on, man. So that's really so that's exactly those sixteen measures. And then I could add another part, which is where I'm going to now go to play. I'm going to create my section C now. Which could be a bit more mellowed out beats, but still drums. So I'm going to create a new section on section C. You can see it's lit section C. So it tells me I'm working on section C. So I need to make it 16 then. Let's start again. Don't matter. Perfect. So that's the C now. So I need to go over that. If I go over that, it will add. I don't want it to do that. So just 16 measures that song. I just stop there, that's fine. So now I'm gonna go and this bit is gonna add some melody to it. On track two now, I see I've licked track two, so I'm now working on track two off set off section C. So that, again this keeps completely clear what part I'm working on. I'm on section C still, so third part, so what's third section, and I'm working on the two, which is just gonna be that thing. If you press the key, I've set it so it starts. You can set that so it's not 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 the case. You can just mess around and 
Let's get some ideas, you know. Ooh, I've always tried, you know, like, I'm not really a keyboard, you know what I'm saying? You know, you can. Okay, so I've got some ideas about that. So I'm going to do my come on man melody now. My come on man, so this is going to be the first part of it. So let's record there. When you hit the record button, it's ready. I'll set it, I'm going to set it to the, it kicks in with my keyboard sound, which is another, with my keyboard playing. So, okay, this is now, blah, 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 come on man. And this is the second part, so it's going to be like it. Let's, let's try that bit again, so I think that was a bit more. You know, so it's come on man. Right. So here we go with the, the second well third session as well. This could be anything. I've made it piano but it always does loads of sounds. So now I'm going back to my sequence, my chain thing, which is F5. And I'm gonna add a bit to it. And then I'm going to start with 21, and I'm going to make that C. So I'm going to hit record. And I'm going to go for another 16 with that one. So that's... Perfect, good. So that's recorded all of that pattern. It's number A, four measures, B, 16 measures, and C. And it's lit up to tell me that I was working on C last and that I was working on, on track 2 last as well I'm on the chain section at the moment now, now I'm just going to actually play that chain back to hear it to, my, to see if it works out I thought it was but anyway you get the idea this isn't, you know, some of it is kind of rough but you can see that the, the creativity flew from just going from my computer screen picking up some sound sample that I liked and be able to drop into the synthesizer straight in and start making some kind of meal out of it. You can improvise it from there. And that, that, that's very easy to do with a built-in feature right. because the tempo is maintained exactly as what I was trying to have originally, which is 118.6, which is the one what I wanted to use. So it fits in your vibe. And that's the key to it, it's your vibe. So hopefully you can see that this is a good thing to buy because it saves you money in having different sessions to deal with sound samples and stuff and then built into the arrangement and you're not messing around with different software, it understands the whole thing and puts it together.